Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how you can upload your custom website files online to host your website on Hostinger server to make it live and accessible for everyone. So the first thing you have to do is purchase your hosting and domain from Hostinger. I will quickly show you how to do it. Please follow the link in the description and it will take you to my website. From here you can find more details about Hostinger plans and currently you can see there is also a custom coupon code that will give you extra discount on purchase of most plans. When you click here, it will automatically redirect you to the hosting a website. Click on this hosting drop down button here and then click on web hosting. Then scroll down and from here you have to pick a plan. For example, if I pick this premium plan here, now you have to pick the duration of plan for which you want to purchase. I would recommend you to at least select the 12 months plan or higher because without 12 months plan, the price will be very expensive. Also, you will miss out on the free domain deal. After that, you have to apply the coupon code which you got from my website and you will get additional discount. Then click on continue and then you have to fill your personal details and it's a very simple process. So without wasting more time, I would show you the next steps. Uh, once you have completed this process, it will automatically redirect you to the Hostinger dashboard here, or you can also log in to the Hostinger dashboard manually by going to this URL hpanel.hostinger.com. Also, this will be mentioned in the video description or on my website. So from there, you can also find it. After that, you will see your hosting details here. Then you have to go to manage here. And then this page will open from here. You have to find this option of file manager or if you do not see this file manager option here, you can also access it from the left side by here. You can see here this file option from here. Also, you can find the file manager option. Then click on this option, access files of this domain. Now in file manager, you have to go to this public HTML folder, double click on it. And here, if you already have a website, you will see files related to that website. So I would recommend you first start with creating a backup of everything. For that, go to new folder. Just name it backup old site something. Just for safety purpose, I would uh, add some random numbers here and click on create. Okay, so it has been created. Now again, go back to public HTML by clicking here. Using your keyboard, you can press Ctrl plus A or whatever the option is for select all. And after that, I will unselect only this file using the Ctrl plus click and also this private file. Now, these are the files of my current WordPress website, which I do not want to interfere with right now. So I will just simply select them and click on this option, move file and move them to the backup folder we just created. Select the folder where you want to move the backup, click on move. Okay, it has been moved. Now let's go back to the public HTML folder. You always have to upload all your live website files to the public HTML folder. Otherwise it will not be accessible. Okay, so let's go to the domain of my website, refresh it and see what it shows. Currently it is showing 403 forbidden error because there is no index file here. Now let's upload the files of my custom website. For that, you have to go here, this option upload, then click on file. So I have to upload these two files. And instead of uploading them individually, which will take a lot of time, what I will do is I will select all the files, right click and create a zip file. So a zip file has been created and you can use any program, a free program to create zip files. It is also by default available with Windows and most other computers. Then select this compressed file, click on open and make sure it is in the zip format. Open here and then select this compressed file we just uploaded click on extract 
then select a folder name i will make it new site uploads then do not se select any directory here just click on extract okay so you can see this is the directory we just created then double click here to open it now we have to move all these files to the public html directory select all then go here move file then select this directory which has these two dots and then click on move okay so now you can see these are the two files we just moved so i will delete the zip file and this uh, other directory which we do not need now you can see these are the two files we just uh, extracted so let's go back to our website and refresh it and see it's still showing 403 forbidden error and that's because we do not have a index.php or index.html file so we have to rename this html file which is this will be our main index file so if your already, file name is already indexed and you are not seeing this forbidden error then you do not have to do anything but if you see this then you have to rename this file select the file then click on rename and i will rename it index.html click on rename now go back here reload this page and you can see it's perfectly working and uh, yes this is my main website this is a basically a copy of my main website you can see the domain name here and uh, it is using this uh, index.html okay but you will not see the index.html here now let's go back to the file manager here now i will carefully select the files i do not want to keep and delete them so i will start with the zip file then this new folder we just created for extracting our files click on delete and you can either skip the trash bin or if you are not sure you may need this files later and uh, so you can just skip uh, untick this option for safety and then click on delete so now if you want to restore them for any reason if you deleted something by mistake you can go to the trash bin and then restore it just like you do it on your computer recycle bin now if your website also involves a database so if you want to create a new database you have to go to file manager here then um, go to overview here or also you can access database from this option or also from here on the left sidebar so you can go to management and from here you can find the database of your existing website if there is any and also you can create a new database and username and password uh, for your new website okay then click on create and just like that um, a new database with user will be created and you then you can use the credentials you, you have just created for your custom website so i hope you found this video useful if you have any queries, please post them in the comments. I will try my best to help you out.